Another thing that we can do uh, with these particles is we can actually adjust the scale a little bit. So if we go over here, I'm just going back up to the object level and giving myself a little bit more space. Let's go to the, uh, let's select the particles, um, sorry, let's select the particles object here and go to the Redshift object tab and under particles, we can look at some of these other options here. Now there is the, there's a global scale multiplier and a ignore scale attributes. So if you didn't like the um, scale that was provided by this, this random scaling that was provided, you can actually override it. So we could do something like say ignore scale attributes and then set the default scale to 0.01. Now I think that might be a little bit big for our scene, but I'm just going to bring it, I'm just going to bring it back to 0.001 and then fire off another render. And you can see here that we have reset the size of the particles. They're all a lot smaller now. And so we can actually um, change the scale of our particles uniformly by uh, using this kind of value like so. Now, um, if you didn't want to do that, if you actually wanted to keep the random uh, particle scale on there, we can just turn that off. And we also have a global scale multiplier. So this global scale multiplier will still respect the P scale attribute that's being provided, but then you can do things like double the size of them. So it'll maintain its randomness, but you can like actually change how big or um, how small they are while kind of scaling that random P scale value that's already assigned to your particles. And obviously, this is a live scene. If you really wanted to get into the logic behind how the uh, the random scale was generated, you can just dive into your particles, go to your object merge, and here, right here, you'll see this little arrow. This will jump you into the part of the network that has created it. And this is a large network, but if we hit spacebar F, you can see that it runs, it zooms right into the particle section um, where these particles were created. And you can see here that there's all sorts of stuff. Um, there's a node here for visualizing p-scale. If I turn this off, this is something that I like to put onto my um, particles. It's just a little line of vex that actually allows you to see the size of your particles. Um, but uh, if that if that isn't working, you can also hit the D key and go to uh, geometry section and say display particles as lit spheres, and that kind of will help that show up as well. But you can see here. Um, just a little short way up this, um, you know, up this particle section, you can see that I have the P scale um, randomization right here. The random uh, one and random two um, attributes are here and the, the normalized age attribute is being calculated on this node. So if we wanted to kind of adjust the P scale, you can see that there's a nice little ramp here that does it. We can set our min and max value and, you know, we can like kind of ramp all this stuff off and have finer control of it. So if you're feeling brave and you want to dig around in the Houdini file itself, you can go in there and start making adjustments to these random values um, by just looking at what's already there. In any rate, if you're working with the Houdini person, definitely just go and ask them. They're uh, probably going to be totally happy to help you figure out what, get whatever attributes on there that you would want. That's, that's what I, I, I mean, I'd be happy to for sure. So, you know, we can just, uh, you know, don't don't be shy. Uh, if you need something, you know, come ask for it. <laughs> All right. So real quick before we move on, I just want to uh, turn that display uh, display particles as. So I'm just gonna go over and hit the D key and display particles as points again, and then um, we can just kind of know that I have our own. We have our own visualizer that I've you know kind of implemented right here. So. All good on that. So that kind of wraps the little section on particles. Next, let's look at some splines.